Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Park. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about what are the most secure VPN providers. Now, at the end of the day, this is something that can be disputed or argued. Someone out there who's paranoid about quantum encryption might tell you only use VPNs that are protected against um, quantum encryption to kind of theoretically breaking. However, this is really only going to be an issue maybe 10 to 15 years from now. So I don't know if that's good metric. Someone said, might say, you know, hey, you should only use a VPN that's open source because that means they are the most secure. But at the end of the day, open source doesn't necessarily mean better security. It's more for better transparency. And I've even seen examples of VPNs that are open source um, getting publicly flogged basically from security and hackers, uh, security researchers and hackers saying, you know, their code is horrible. So again, I don't know if being open source is a necessarily a good indicator of security. Of course, we can always look at things like past history of data leaks and stuff like that. But even that can be kind of difficult to ascertain if a VPN is secure or not, because, you know, that could have happened a long time ago or maybe um, the company has sold and they're less secure. So I don't even know if that is a good metric for deciding if a VPN is secure or not. So you might be wondering, well, Tom, how do we figure it out then? What is the secret answer? Well, I've added one new metric to my tier list this year, which I think is a pretty good metric that can help you find a very secure VPN provider. We'll be gonna be discussing that in this video. All right, guys, I'm gonna be putting my top rated VPNs, my top two God tier VPNs in the description and down below. If you click on those links, you'll help support the channel. You'll get a couple extra free months and a very good discount on a VPN provider. Not sponsored by any VPN right now. And if you don't wanna use these affiliate links, you don't have to. Um, it just helps me continue to make content just like this since YouTube ads basically make me no money and I'm a smaller content creator. All right, guys, let's get back to the subject at hand. So guys, the metric I'm gonna be using today in this video is my top rated VPNs out there, you know, ranking in terms of everything else, but combined with one essential thing. What is that essential thing to make a VPN secure? Well, in my opinion, it's actually a bug bounty program. Now, if you don't know what a bug bounty program is, basically it's a way for hackers, penetration testers to actually kind of attack the VPN. And if they find a vulnerability, that VPN will pay them and they'll improve the VPN. I think this is one of the best ways for a VPN to kind of improve and become more secure. Um, and you might agree with me there because really it's it's almost like an audit, but like whenever, you know, at any point of the year and, you know, third parties and stuff like that aren't just going to be, um, you know, telling, you know, for example, NordVPN they're doing well, they're going to be wanting that money. So they're really going to be trying to, you know, get things, um, you know, you know find vulnerabilities and get paid for it basically is what i'm saying so if we look at something like nordvpn i really like their bug bounty program because it's listed on hacker one and it's got a very good layout uh, and kind of description of what hackers can earn and you can even see a breakdown of what bounties have been awarded which is really nice um you can see that they pay 10 to fifty thousand dollars if it's critical bounty um you could see just two hours ago there was a report resolved 221 reports resolved 256 hackers thanks so 32 reports received in 90 days so this means that nordvpn is constantly being tested against the kind of hacker community and getting rewarded for it i think that's really cool and it's definitely made them one of the most secure vpns due to this kind of system it's probably also the biggest vpn so they get more attention and i'm assuming this bug bounty program pays a little bit better it's kind of hard to find some payouts of other um, bounty programs which is another reason i like this one from nordvpn so definitely a very solid vpn and this is one of my favorite bug bounty programs so like i said i'll put a link for nord in the description down below if you want to get some extra months or a discount with NordVPN. Next up is sister company, Surfshark. They're actually owned by kind of the same kind of shareholder, I think, um, Testanet. But here we have Surfshark. Now Surfshark also has a bug bounty program, which is very good. You can commit, submit vulnerabilities and get paid out. The only thing about Surfshark is it doesn't have quite as good of a layout, in my opinion, since it's using it on your, its own website and not Hacker HackerOne. Um, it doesn't really say how much hackers can be paid, but it is fairly in depth and laid out. And I do like that they do have a bug bounty program since not every VPN does have one. So very nice from Surfshark. I'll put a link for them in the description down below as well, since they're my number two rated VPN right now. Proton VPN, another VPN that actually has a bug bounty program. I do believe it seems to be actually for all the pro products, I think, whether that be mail or anything like that. 
so you can report vulnerabilities to um, their security thing. So they have a disclosure policy. Um, on, I, I do think that this um, gets paid. I guess it depends on how severe it is and stuff like that. Um, so it is nice here. They actually have a reward amount. Um, so they have, uh, it looks similarly priced to a NordVPN as well, which is good. Um, but I guess they don't have that as big of a cap. You can only get 10,000, which with Nord, it seems like it's up to $50,000. So maybe not as prestigious or help paying a bug bounty program, but still a very solid one. And goes to show Proton is definitely a secure VPN provider. Lastly, we could talk about private internet access. And this is another one that's had a good bug bounty program for a number of years. This one doesn't really explain how much money you can get, um, which is kind of, I, I do prefer when they have that just so people know. Um, but again, another good metric of a secure VPN provider. Um, this one isn't as trusted for me personally due to the company behind it. I'm not as huge a fan of companies that have kind of been shifted around from multiple kind of owners. That's kind of what's happened with private internet access. They're now owned by Keep Technologies, which is different than in the past. Um, but that said, a bug bounty program is still a good sign of security and I, I stand by that metric. So it's good to see VPNs that do support that. That's now a metric on the tier list as you can see here on my website, um, right here. So not every VPN has it. In fact, a fair amount don't, but it's good to see that some do. And I'll be putting those in the link in the description down below. Like I said, I'll see you guys in the next video very soon.